Yo bwana kama 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 dawa mtazamaji wa Timam TV. Hii ni exclusive interview. Niko na mwana dada I love voice anafanya poa kina Oma na Oma na ngoma yake inaitwa kila sekunde ya uhai. Ni ngoma ambayo inafanya poa sasa hivi kwenye media mbalimbali. Ila leo hii Timam TV tuko na hapa kupigania more story kujua mengi mazuri kutokea kwake. Ameshapitia bendi mwana dada. Mshemshe za hapa na pale kimziki mpaka kuamua kusimama mwenyewe. Safari ya mziki ilikuwaje? Mengi atatujuza kupitia hapa hapa kwenye exclusive interview. Usisahau kuwa mchongo mzima unasimamiwa na Uber pamoja na Discount Center. Twenze wetu pamoja mtazamaji wangu. Mambo vipi? Niko poa mambo. Safi mzima. Salama. Unapendeza sana. Shukran. Uko live na maisha anasema. Safi safi kabisa. <laughs> Uko mtaki kutazama kwa haraka haraka naweza kusema kama mwana hip hop hivi lakini umeamua kuimba. Kitu gani kimekushawishi ukasema mimi naimba na sio hip hop? Well kwanza nina sauti nzuri. Mm. Sio ya kuongea kuongea nyumba. <laughs> kwa kuna sauti ya kuongea na ya kuimbia. Yes, yani dikimba sauti yangu ni nzuri kisoka inayoongea hapa yeah. sasa hivi. Yeah. Hebu tusikie kidogo ya kuimba inakuwaaje. <laughs> Kila sekunde ya uhai. Anshkuru mungu mana pumzi hani dai. Eh. Na kuitaji oh. Mi walai. Bwana naoma sana. Nataka kufahamu mwanzo ulikuwa mtu ambaye uko kama back vocal tunasema kwenye mabendi wapi na huku na kule. Kitu gani kimekuinspire ukasema sasa nasimama mwenyewe tena? Well, I think was it wasn't like that a back vocalist now nilikuwa tunaimba been performing live. Yeah, pale Sundays next door kwa watu wote ambao walikuwa wanafika pale. I'm very much sure washai kuniona. Yeah, been performing there lakini kitu kilichonifanya nikaamua sasa I want to bring up my work is because I believe the potential in me I believe the work that I do I believe the energy that I have I believe in my voice and I believe in my creativity ko nikaamua I should bring it in front and so that people could see and I know uh, the more people see the, the work that I did I want to appreciate and I'm so amazed and I'm very very grateful Yeah, okay. Umekuwa ukiimba sana nyimbo za kimtoni kipindi ambako uko pale club next door. Kitu gani kimekusukuma ukasema napenda sana kuimba nyimbo hizi na sio nyimbo za kibongo ile kwa kuna wabongo kibao alikuwa anaimba nyimbo kama hizo miaka ya nyuma na yenyewe. Well, si chagui kwanza cha kuimba though ni nyingi zinakuwa ni za kiingereza kwa sababu ya demand. But naimba nyimbo zote napenda nyimbo za wasanii wote naimba hadi tarab. Yeah, oh, I love that song inaimba Macho ya nacheka Moyo unalia yeah. <laughs> Kila sekunde ya uhai ni, ni ngoma ambayo inafanya poa sasa hivi. Kwa nini kila sekunde ya uhai kwanza tuanzie hapo? Niliongelea moment ambayo kila mtu as an individual nayo na inamkuta mtu wakati ambao ni unpredictable. You cannot predict that time ambapo unakuwa una unashtuka unakumbuka like hey i'm grateful na mshukuru mungu i was speaking about that moment hiyo moment inamtokea mtu yoyote regardless ya dini regardless ya tabia regardless ya ya status ya maisha regardless ya rangi inamtokea mtu yoyote na wakati wowote mtu akiwa yupo kazini yupo ana kula bata yupo sijui kwenye matatizo ila tokea wakati wa what it's very unpredictable it's a moment i was speaking about it was nimeingia ile moment kwamba kila sekunde ya uhai na mshukuru Mungu maana pumzi hani dai hii e, ngoma tafsiri yake mtu akikaa kisikiliza kwa haraka anaweza kama akasema kama ni ya kigospel fulani hivyo mtu kumwambia Mungu wewe unamwambiaje mtu mwenye mawazo kama hayo anaweza kaiweka hivyo kwa sababu ni ni unamshukuru Mungu lakini pia ni general kila mtu anamwamini Mungu hata ambaye hamwamini Mungu ambaye sisi tunamwamini lazima kuna Mungu ambaye anamwamini lazima kila mtu ana anachokiamini kwa hiyo kila anachokiamini kuna muda ambao anakuwa anashukuru kwamba i'm very grateful kwa that was the whole concept kwa hiyo mtu akiamua kuiweka upande huo pia sio mbaya na mtu akiamua kutokuiweka upande huo pia sio mbaya Ume ume umeimba kwa style kama hiyo na mtu akiamua kuiweka huko sawa vipi unategemea siku moja labda kusema sasa unachana na mziki wa kidunia na kuingia kwenye gospel rasmi The way ni nabo perceive mimi gospel ni very very different mimi nachukulia gospel kama kueneza au kusambaza ujumbe wa Mungu ndio 
call me me apart from my perception i don't think it's it's business na hisi kama wakati wote nikiwa najisikia kwamba i feel like i need to tell people that there is a living god i can do that bila kufanya kwamba sasa gospel ni biashara yangu no i believe that ni ni kama ni kama ni kama msukumo mm. yeah, eh. kutoka kwa bwana yes eh. Kwa, it cannot be like na switch sasa hivi ah nimeamua bwana naacha kufanya huu muziki wangu naingia kwenye muziki wa gospel no i don't believe in that kwenye kwenye hilo umekuwa na sauti nzuri sana naona imba kinaoma naoma vipi kwenye upande wa familia kuna mtu yote alishaikuwa mwanamuziki labda mama mjeomba ushangazi well hakuna lakini ninachojua kwamba kwenye familia yetu kuna wanakwaya wengi sana yani kwenye upa... <laughs> kwa hiyo uzawa babangu kuna wanakwaya <laughs> yes kuna ma producers kama leo nifanyie kazi ni kakaangu kabisa akitoka inafuata mimi tulifanya pale wanene anaitwa dr regi kwa it's a it's a blessed family yani i think karibia wote wana sauti za kuimba vipaji vipo ya yeah, wote ya wote hadi mdogo wangu wa kike she used to sing like this sasa hivi ameamua kuacha na aibu sana kuliko mimi <laughs> <laughs> bwana kama uliko fahamu muziki uhitaji aibu ili uwe msanii uwe full package utaki kuwa na aibu kuona longolongo kokote unakuambiwa twende unafanya tu kwenye kwenye hili hapa kwenye umesema ume familia paka brother na ume produce ngoma ugumu wa kufanya kazi na mtu ka, na ndugu yako urahisi nao unakuwa uko wapi urahisi ni kwa sababu ni kaka yangu sitakuwa like oh producer sasa una session anakuwa like bro uko wapi lazima uje kurekodi nyimbo do you understand mm. lakini pia pana ugumu kwamba sasa we cannot speak sasa zingine like um, inako dogo nimekuambia ni hivi inatakiwa iwe hivi dogo ni hivi do you understand eh yeah say ko parako na ile family energy more than that than that musical energy sometimes love the hapo to evil lakini every other thing is going all right kwa sababu ukiangalia production wise ni mzuri yeah na ukiangalia pia mbaji wala voice yenye mesikia. Yes. <laughs> kwenye kwenye upande wa video, video zimekuwa gharama kinaoma naoma. Sasa hivi kila mtu anakufanya chupa kali ili madi liende mpaka ma international wapi. Wewe video umetumia kama gharama shingapi au mbali na gharama? Kitu gani ukizingatia kwenye video yako kusema standard hii inahitaji na tunawapelekea wananchi sasa? I wanted to reach the international standards which ukiangalia kweli nime nime meet yeah nipige ni makofi nipige <laughs> <laughs> makofi kwa mimi mmoja nikupigie yes <laughs> i really really reach that mm. international standard ya yeah, nimefikia kwenye gharama kwa kweli siwezi kukwambia siwezi kuongea kabisa hicho kitengo akizekani kikusema but i am grateful yeah Mziki wa bendi kibongo bongo umefanya sana mziki wa bendi miaka nyuma mpaka leo inawezekana kwa unafanya vile vile kwa sababu ni mtu ambaye unaimba sana. Mziki wa bendi unavyoutazama kibongo bongo vipi unalipa tofauti na solo artist? Seriously watu wanatakiwa wabadilishe ile perception ya kwamba labda na labda tu tuache tuachane na ile kwanza tuachane na watu wale wana mziki kwanza wa bendi. Mm. Wanatakiwa pia wabadilike kwamba ule mziki kweli unalipa na kama kuna sehemu watu wanatakiwa pia wa value ni ule mziki you are sure kuwa na audience ambao they are ready 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 and willing to listen and pay to watch you entertain them kwa hicho sio kitu kidogo Many people just think like oh no no it's just a music event no sio kitu kidogo mtu wewe unapoamua sasa unachukua muda wako sasa i want to go somewhere and listen to Isla That's a big respect kwa hiyo wale wana muziki kwanza wa kwenye live they should respect what they are doing so that our watu wengine huku nje waone ile vibe lakini muziki ambao unalipa ndio muziki ambao unanifanya wana na nyaa hapa twatel mevana miwani kabisa ya gharama magari wigi shingapi <laughs> muhimu waambie kwanza leo wigi shingapi unajua ni 1600 ah serious guys miwani in 1300 tu hivi tu sio vya kibongo bongo sio vya 
Tanzania, Tanzania. Sio vile kipuzi puzi unaona. Bwana umetisha sana. Ereni unaona don't just underestimate the muziki. Mimi nione vizuri kwanza. Hiyo kama old OG gold ya u. Achana na utalini gold OG. Bwana tisha sana. Nize ni gram gapi? Ukiniuliza mimi utakosea mimi nikuulize hiyo gram gapi? Hebu kwanza watu wenyewe waangalie waone hiyo gram hiyo gram tatu wala gram tano sio gram kumi. Naomba yeah. watu wasipima lipa ma I know. <laughs> Mzigo wenyewe kabisa yani. <laughs> Mzigo wenyewe una. Tu ambe gram ngapi umevaa? Naomba tu sina nini. Mimi sidi kangofolewa hapo hapo. Watu wako kumendea mendea kaondoka na sikio lenye. Hata tu sasa yule anafaka irini za gram. Turudi kwenye mziki sasa. Mwanzoni wa Tanzania wengi walitegemea siku moja kukuona kwenye umoja wa The Mafic kwa sababu ni kati ya watu ambao ni waasisi vile vile mule kwenye The Mafic. Kitu gani kinimesababisha hatukukuona tena tumeviona vitu vitatu na wewe ni mtu ambaye ulikuwemo kwenye ule mzunguko. Yeah, I've been there, I've been the founder. I cannot speak a lot, lakini I am still there though sio member directly wa the mafic wale watatu wanaonekana no i'm not exactly there but i do work kwenye the mafic band and so far i decided to do my own music though we still co work yeah lakini they are my friends we are family nivo tu hatuko pamoja kwenye ule muunganiko wa kwenye kazi yani yeah but they're my brothers Yeah, Tutegemea kuona kitu chochote kati ya Koe na The Mafic huko mbeleni. I hope so. Yeah, I... ndio. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, tuna kazi ambazo tumesha tumeshajipanga kuzifanya. Yeah, so I hope so. Hapa mbona unakana kama umezifanya sura yako inaoneshana afu mtu mtupanga. Hebu tuambie ukweli bwana eh. Mzigo sio uko tayari studio inangoja siku tuna tarehe bwana. Yes, eh, ni kama hivyo. Mm. Mzigo yuko tayari. Ipo tayari. Yani I didn't want to talk about this. Yani watu wa was no. E bwana Sanuka na hiyo kutoka kwa I Love Voice. Kati yake na The Mafic mzigo yuko tayari chini ya kapeti. Muda wote saa yote inalipuka tu. Bado hii ni exclusive interview mtazamaji wetu Mam TV. Tuko na hapa kuendelea kuyajua mengi mazuri kutokea kwake. Safari ya mziki story nyingi zote zinaendelea kupitia hapa hapa Timam TV. Mziki umekuwa mgumu na una changamoto kubwa sana kwa watoto wa kike kutakutana na rushwa ya pesa studio presenters utakutana huko na rushwa ya ngono wewe kama mwanadada changamoto kama hizi unapambana nazo vipi ah uh, mimi nashukuru kwanza the industry itself has so grown so much and wameshakuwa na ule uelewa wa kwamba this is work as any other work and i'm very grateful kwamba no sio hakuna sio lazima rushwa ya ngono hicho kitu i think si kweli kwa sasa hivi yani kwa sasa hivi kwa kipindi hiki labda nyuma kwa sababu kesi ilikuwa kubwa lakini rushwa kabisa kama rushwa no we should do this so that i know haiko hivyo it's business as other businesses kwa hiyo the way you invest on it your energy your time and the people around you the more you grow and hicho ndo ambacho kina kwepo labda changamoto ni zile tu kwamba kwa sababu ni mtoto wa kike sasa zingine siwezi kukutana na watu mabaya kwa kama kama oh mwanangu sio jodi baba unajua you guys have favor you know you i like oh mwanangu joa apige bianne i cannot do that unajua i yeah. i cannot do that i'm a woman i have values i respect myself kwa hiyo hata the way you approach watu is so different than you guys do to each other No, no. Kwa hiyo maybe is that in ile tu barrier ya ujinsia kwamba ni wa kike na values kwa sababu ya tamaduni zetu. Basi. Lakini anything so far is so okay. Atatamani ni wewe akiniona niko na wewe akitoboto anifate ukimuona rosha mawe Atatamani ni wewe ukimuona niko naye akithubutu anifate ukimuona rushamawe 
support ndio kitu kikubwa ambacho anahitaji kutoka kwa kwa sababu ana mziki mzuri kinoma noma amekuandalia we mtanzania na uliyekuwa ambaye si mtanzania fanya hivi tu follow instagram facebook twitter youtube na somega kama timam tv chongo mzima ulikuwa ni exclusive interview pablo mlatini ndio ni mosimamia mwanzo kati na mwisho na sign out mpaka muda na wakati mwingine kupitia hapa hapa timam tv nitakuwa sio nitakuwa sio <coughs> Ndakuwa sina fadhila kama nitakuwa sija hapa mashavu ya kutosha discount center pamoja na Uber. Chongo kwa hivi kwa wao ambao wanahitaji kujiunga kutumia usafiri wa Uber naenda Play Store download app ya Uber mtazamaji then moja kwa moja jisajiri na uanze kutumia Uber. Maduka discount center kila kukicha inazidi kuwa na offer. Kinao manaoma kibongo bongo hapa bwana dotoka tu maeneo ya Pugu Mall kwa wale ambao wako Mwanza pa Lockseat Mall na huko Kidondoka unakutana na maduka ya Discount Center pale unafanya shopping nyingi kinoma naoma unaona kwa kati ya wale ambao wanaohusika kupata offer kipande kile pale usisahau kutufuata YouTube kwenye channel yetu ya Kibabe sana tunasemeka kama Timam TV subscribe pale turn notification kupata exclusive kama hizi na watoto wazuri kama akina Island ile unapatikana hapa hapa Timam TV ciao until next time